Can't wait for DLC to number six to be like Master Chief and it just Snake 2.0. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Got Suarez, Charles. Ooh, already we're seeing some nice ways to open Charles up. And look at all this damage that's come down as a result. Well, Charles with the answer back. I like that. The Yoshi tether, that neutral, uh, sorry, the grab rather. Pretty long lasting and it can cover some options. I, this is something that Suarez really does all the time. He uh, manages to basically beat people shielding in a way that very few other Yoshis, especially around here, are able to do. Look at how many times he's either grabbed or gotten that egg lay, and it's led to so much damage. That's the reason why Suarez is so far ahead right now, is that he's managed to make Charles unable to shield. All right, Charles is putting up the wall right now. I think the biggest thing here in this matchup is that Charles needs to figure out how to, like, he, he seems to be, like, wanting to stay a little more grounded. He's the how much damage you take in disadvantage while above Yoshi is going to be like a determining factor of how this matchup goes. That is true. Like Yoshi can definitely stay on Snake and continue to pressure him. That I was think mad good. That was C4 and Grenade ha hanging out ledge, and uh, Suarez got caught uh, neutral getting up. Yeah, and it's the sort of thing where, despite that huge lead that Suarez had just a second ago, this is looking very even. Especially when you consider the fact that it felt like a lot of what Suarez was able to do, you know, has basically been conditioned out of Charles at this point. He's not getting caught by those egg lays. He's not just running up and shielding or anything like that. Look at that. The way he spot dodged right there. He was absolutely expecting it. was like, it. if you be reverse it on me, I'm going to spot dodge and you're getting punished for it. I like the use of the, the PS2 platform to kind of like make that triangle of jump in over the platform and I'm here waiting for you. Oh, big trades. This is the sort of thing where both these characters normally like trading. So it comes down to who is actually able to kill each other once you get yeah. to those higher percents. And right now, it's looking like, I'd say Charles has the advantage. That up tilt is always such a scary option. And for the longest time, Suarez hasn't really found a reliable way to get in. Good roll. No, that was really good. The spot dodge there actually forced him that if you swung on it, you got punished by the grenade. Ah. Oh. He went for the downer out of shield, but he actually got low profiled with the, uh, I, I think it was uh, up tilt. Yep, that was the up tilt right there, which is both like a low profile and an anti-air option. Oh, I like that. So before he gra he grabbed the grenade, and if he had thrown it, he wouldn't have actually been able to get a combo. So he went for the Z drop in order to basically maintain his uh, his advantage and be able to continue to pressure that. Yep. The tried and true, if you're too high percent, that down throw up tilt is gonna going to take it. He actually stuffed out the activation of C4 there. You heard it start to come out. Yeah, no, there's tons of pressure. Like, Suarez is able to close the distance. It felt like, you know, that's this is the sort of nice thing about him is that he's able to condition you to stop shielding with those neutral Bs, with the grabs. And then once you're no longer comfortable shielding, nice then he can swing. <laughs> yeah, then he's going to throw out those Yoshi he's gonna buttons. found that A button, dude. <laughs> Big green button. It's like B beats shield, A beats everything else. Yeah, yeah. I love B stands for better not be shielding. <laughs> what does A stand for? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what A stands for. <laughs> just like, just yeah. like one of those like screams that like you ca gets louder as you're like, what is that sound? Uh. And it's just a quiet scream getting louder and no. louder. It, it, that match of that that match kind of went the same. The it, it was like the same way on both sides. Uh, there was a a whole section where Suarez kept. Uh, Charles in like the I'm not letting you back on stage but you're going to have to swing at me to get out of there and then Charles did the same thing with C4 on the platform and him kind of standing center stage the grenades at ledge plus C4 on the center platform basically means that you have to go high yeah but then like ah, one thing that's actually noticeable is that he's not using up smash at all yeah. Normally up smash is a move against other characters, but the thing is against Yoshi specifically, your up smash at ledge is not something you can just do because of Yoshi nah, yeah, egg. Yeah. And so it requires him to be a little bit more creative, like you're saying, trying to use different moves to cut off those higher options. I love this song. Oh. Yeah, grenade conversions. 
And this is where things have started being going back and forth in terms of what Suarez is prioritizing. He's now using those A buttons, the scream, but the thing is that whenever Snake is holding a grenade, you get hit for hitting his shield. Doesn't matter. The grenade's gonna explode on you and then he's gonna get a conversion off of it. Oh, C4 gonna take it so early. I don't think Suarez was expecting that immediate detonation. Nah, nah, nah. He was like, all right, where's the setup? But the setup was <laughs> was you looking for the setup. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That That's really good that he happened to up be there right when uh, Su Suarez was already off the ground. So he didn't have a lot more, like, he couldn't react to getting high enough to actually punish Charles' up B. Oh, I love the pressure. Right. That down B is also really good because of that. Is that death? That's death. death. Yeah. I'll stop that but that down B, not only would it be able to, you know, just kill outright, with, or at least get a lot of damage, but if he was shielding, it will shield break. Charles actually does a really good job of, like, setting up grenades into, like, one taps, and then I, like, it's like that. It's like a, a trap where, even if you spot dodge here, if you miss the pressure here, the grenade's gonna let me reset out of it. Yeah, but I'm really liking the spacing from Suarez. It's been getting better and better as this game continues. The thing is that Charles is also like you know, a fantastic adaptive player in his own right, and he's already adjusting to the exact positions he's being at. Look at that B-reverse grenade pull. Yeah. Managed to get him a grab. Not much beyond that, but nonetheless, it feels like now the movement is in Charles' favor. Oh, uh, that could have been huge. Dude, he actually, he actually, uh... <laughs> the, the, the throw at ledge there actually immune to the grenade explosion, which is pretty good. The up tilt going to catch him jumping. Or uh, up being, rather. Oh, yeah. Recognizing yeah. that shielding on the platforms is basically inviting a Yoshi Tong. I'm starting to just be a little bit more aware of it and dodging it before it gets to him. He spot dodged the last time in that same situation. And maybe he's just not looking to do it more than once. But if you spot dodge there uh, and he back airs instead of uh, B reverses, you're actually in pretty like in, in a bad shape. It's going to catch the spot dodge on the late frames. Uh, <gasps> the dash grab is mad good. Yeah, the air dodges out of the up air follow up. Oh, we got Sticky! Yeah, that's already 90% onto yeah, Suarez. Yeah, it's unfair. You couldn't see it on this camouflage. You know, red shell, red C4. Huh. Tries to nair out his shield, does not hit the mark. Back are going to take it, though. Yeah, the very edge of that move. It has more range than you would expect. I'm actually surprised that Charles is being so confrontational with such a big lead. I, that I would think he'd want space. I think, well, a big part of it is that, like, what is space against Yoshi? Oh, that's a good you point. <laughs> like, okay, now he's taking space, just holding the grenade in his hand, and yes, yeah, Suarez kind of running away. The grenade hits him from across the stage. This is why, in general, Yoshi can't, like, give too much, you know, room yeah. or space to uh, Snake, and that's why he's chasing him down so often. He could really die on a. Oh, he did. Yeah, he ran under the C4. I, I, in that situation too, it's a it's a really tough situation because if you hit his shield and he pulls grenade, you can get a back air and just die for it. So at that percent, it's really scary. A bit higher it wouldn't matter anymore because it would never convert. But like he was around like 150, 120, like you can definitely get converted off of like grenade into back air. <laughs> Shut up, Charles. <laughs> what, what, what? Charles is jamming out, singing the song, man. <laughs> to which song? The title music. The, who knows the? How that, do you know the lyrics to the title? It wasn't the lyrics. He was doing sounds. I don't know, man. I saw him move his mouth, dude. <laughs> was he? Did he like sing the lyrics of the vocalized <laughs> version of this theme, which uh, is bad? <laughs> <laughs> Who's actually? Who heard that vocalized theme and was like, yeah, this is what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. I will say that another nice thing about Eggly, not only does it beat shield, but there are a lot of positions where it's actually Yoshi's longest range option. Yo, speaking of banger music. <laughs> Back here, Jab. He waited. I, I don't know what option he was waiting for, though, but it was it was a good attempt at a reset. He just got forward tilted out of it, though. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why up smash is not a great edge guarding tool against Yoshi. He can kind of... It actually gives him the chance to, like, go back off and throw eggs to give him the, uh the extra leeway to make it back onto stage. Yeah, I'll have more options after the let go egg. Oh, 
Oh, fairly, actually, fairly even so far. I love that. That was the exact position where before he would have thrown off the egg lane. That's definitely what Charles was expecting. I think he jumped out of shield, which is why he got hit by that uh, forward air. So the mix-ups are starting to come into play, and Suarez might just be one step ahead. Look at the fact that all of these eggs are landing. Woo! Nah, he, he was looking for, for uh, a panic option. He's like, roll away, you'll die for it. I mean, oh, that was mad. All right, yeah, yeah. So instead of chasing the down throw, he just waited. I was like, oh, air dodge, up smash, free. I'm pretty sure you can just DI out of down throw and yeah, not yeah, have yeah. to worry about it ever. So please do. <laughs> oh, what the? All right, who goes for an up smash at 0%? I didn't even know the hitbox of the move goes that far because nobody ever uses it. Yeah, when you get hit by an F smash, it's usually like a point blank situation. You know, you got like shield caught, broken. Not, shield broken or... Caught not grabbing ledge properly. It's actually giving me shades of game one. Yeah. The way that Suarez is using that egg lay to just, oh, at the very least, condition Charles into not shielding quite as much. He's trying to be a little bit more evasive, but he can't quite escape. He's taking all of this damage. And I love that, actually. That was a very late jump neutral air, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was good because Charles was definitely looking for a faster option. He's like, he's waiting out an option, but then you like, like, you know how you like, you set somebody up with some, oh, I'm going to take it. What was the setup? That was forward air two oh, forward up air, the sweet air. spot of it. That definitely will connect. And all of a sudden, Charles, despite how good he was looking in that game too, especially, he's down by quite a bit. Actually got lapped in percent. And now Suarez has all of the control. He's been able to read these aggressive <laughs> options and defensive options. Nared him into his grenade. Oh, if you're Charles, you need to take a stock immediately. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> that would have been cute if something had happened, but I don't think he was even fully anticipating it. Okay, I like that going off. Like, he went onto the stage to punish that, uh, you know, tech option, but Suarez went for the sort of the mix up and actually went to the ledge. All of a sudden now, things are. Looking a little bit better for Charles is the percent where up tilt might be able to do it. Or at least any one of those kill snake kill moves. And if he manages to take it with that, all of a sudden. Ooh, what? Yeah, he has a jump. Oh. Yep, and that was solid edge guarding. Very, very solid. Solid edge guarding, although honestly, he should have gotten punished for that, Nikita. I'm not sure what uh, Suarez is doing. And this is the sort of thing where not necessarily undoable for Charles, you know? 54% and growing. Snake has plenty of ways to kill early. Or he can just do consistent damage with things like grenade. Things like, ooh, just ledge trapping him. Look at this, 78% already. And about 30%, I think, up tip will be a kill option. And once that happens, things will get very grim. Oh! oh. He will, he you, put he, himself up no, there. No, he put himself up there, but at the same time, he had not done it like the whole game. So I feel like he was like trying to catch Suarez like lacking. He was like... All right, I haven't really recovered high. Maybe I go here, that and he's not even, ready quite.